Hi guys, back to back videoing because I've had a bit of time to do some today and um, I thought I'd do you a little video of where I spend most of my time either working, sewing or doing tarot. Um, we live in a, <laughs> a little hobbity type house and it's very small, we're up in the roof and it's tiny, you have to be very small to live here. And this is my soap collection and it's not very many of them but they do smell nice and I just love the boxes. So they sit on one of the little shelves and uh, as you can see lots of buttons and sewing bits and I used an old bottle to make a room spray and I put some essential oil and water in and hey presto I've got a bit of a room spray going on there. And then moving down here is where all my um, this is lavender bear. I made him and I stuffed him full of lavender. So if you have a squeeze, he smells gorgeous. I love him. And uh, potpourri bits and pieces that I've been using in art stuff and various sewing bits. And then wool and sort of cro crochet bits in there. Um, a picture my one of my daughters did when she was young with the help of Daddy. And my favourite, one of my favourite pictures actually, and I call it the bookworm. It's not called the bookworm. I can't remember the name of it, but I, I know it, but that's what I call it. And I have little Pinocchio down here. Say hello, Pinocchio. Um, and he's with all my craft books and various things. So herb stuff, and I make teddy bears. So there'll be teddy bear patterns in there and crochet stuff and sewing stuff, whatever. And all the empty boxes from my tarot. And then we have all my um, kitchen witch stuff, the essential oils and uh, her bits and pieces all coming into the mix. A couple of other decks, the books that go with the decks I've got out and the books I have collected to read, journals, empty boxes and uh, small journals down here because um, my bookshelves that my husband made for me are now heaving with books because I like to read about war, First, Second World War, medieval history, biographies, etc. So it's a bit crowded. Um, and then we have my bureau, my writing bureau, which um, is was rather walnut and yew. Well, it is walnut and yew, but it's been shabby cheeked by me. Um, and I like it, yeah, because it had a few scratches on it. So. And we've got the um, Enchanted Spell Oracle, which I used for my tarot tag to Becca. And my beautiful um, snow globe, which has musical in song in it, but I can't turn it upside down. But I love that. Uh, various crystals. My card for the month, which was the World. Nice one for my birthday month, actually. Um, my beautiful globe. Ball, crystal ball. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Well, I call it a globe, it's a crystal ball. Uh, flowers from the meadow. Meadow? <laughs> the meadow. <laughs> the one I went picking over there is part of my celebrating the autumn season that's coming in. And we have some books that I'm reading or uh, used for potpourri by Valerie um, and Warwood. She does some lovely books on, you know, all the natural essentials, etc. And just bits and pieces I've picked up, and my husband made me the cross. And we have a Pendle Witch, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello. I think she's called Craddock. Um, but I'm really bad with names, so if I've got her wrong, I'm so sorry. I'll have to, to go and look her up. We've got Alice, and we've got Cassandra, and we've got another one that was bought for me last year. And you can get them th from the Pendle Witch website, and they're lovely. Um, I will say one thing. They've changed the faces. The faces are... I don't know if you can see her face very well, because I'm quite sure. She's absolutely lovely. But they've give them a suntan and now they look like they've been to Spain for the holidays which isn't quite the same and then we come on to the 
place where I, I work, sort of my sewing table, essentially my tarot table and my lovely uh, Halloween mug which I started early. Uh, the decks that I'm working with at the moment, some crystals and uh, we've got some honeysuckle there, wild honeysuckle growing. Not growing, I picked when we went on uh, holiday. And the, we've got the wolf and he's my lovely wolf. And uh, a picture that I've been waiting to try and make into a fabric collage and I haven't got that to you. And then over here we have the decks. Most of them anyway, there are a few um, that aren't in this picture because this is now becoming quite cramped because it's sort of next to all my fabrics and all the drawers are full of fabric and various bits. So uh, we've got the Mary Elle, which I haven't started yet. Um, I'd had it on my list for a long time and um, watched Veronica do, do her thing with it and thought, yeah, that's a, that's a deck I have to have. The Naked Heart, which I'm sure everyone probably knows about, but if they don't, that is just a beautiful, beautiful deck. Really is lovely. The Sasubitu, or Sasurubitu, if I'm pronouncing it slightly wrong. I love that deck. And I absolutely love the um, Anima Mundi. Uh, very, very pretty deck. Very beautiful deck. And then I've got a few in here that I've made pouches for. Um, we've got the Everyday Witch, which when I look at um, cards and I need to remember what it is, it's these images that I remember because they're just so easy on the eye and I love them. And uh, then I made a pouch for the Line Strider, which is in there. And then this is a pouch I made for the Paulina Tarot. Um, which I wish was a bigger deck because it's not big enough to show those beautiful pictures which are stunning and um, deserve to be on, on a bigger bigger card really. And the uh, Dao Oracle which I married up with the Osho Zen which I've done some work on modifications. So I'll show that another time. And then we have another Oracle which is, oops, around the wrong way. Oops, the Green Wheel Oracle, and that's another lovely, lovely deck. Oh, and it feels so lovely. It's just, it's, oh, I just love this deck. It's just mm, lovely feel to it. It smells nice too, <laughs> for those of you who sniff your decks. First ever deck, um, how it all started for me back in April. I haven't been doing this a year. Can you believe that? Um crazy and this is the Ra radiant white R rider white smith and probably my only rider white smith other than the one that i sort of borrowed off my husband and and it is a nice deck it, and the colors are lovely um so i'm very pleased to have that and then i i made this beautiful case or bag pouch out of a sort of i don't know sort of almost organza um material that i had and then i cut up a sort of suede skirt that I had uh, so it had a nice soft inside because I didn't want anything to scratch this precious deck which is wait for it roll da -da -da -da, the tarot noir oh it's such a beautiful deck I love this deck and I now won't be able to probably get it back in Hold on a second, here we go. This is, this is where I bend the deck, trying to just get it out. But I married it up with a little French Oracle deck, which is beautiful and goes absolutely perfectly with it. So uh, that is that. And then I just wrapped a bit of organza ribbon around it so that, that goes together. And uh, then we have can't wait to use this can't wait i love it love it love it which is why i'm surprised more people aren't up for this dark mansion one that i don't know much about because i looked at the images and they looked amazing i mean really beautiful somewhere between i don't know the, the sort of cartoon version they're not deviant moon but 
they are beautiful images and I, I just hope this deck comes into to being but I married it up with the wicker uh, oracle cards they're my no, my October cards for using this is the deviant moon um, that my husband um, did the edging and didn't like so he gave it to me <laughs> he's now got the one with the borders because he prefers the one with the borders um, and this is a Tower of the Witch is a, is a copy that my husband had twice, so he gave me one. I wouldn't mind, but he doesn't use his cards at all. Um, Morgan Greer, lovely little tin version, and um, the Aquarian Tarot. They're, they're lovely little decks, I adore them. The Steampunk. The images are beautiful. My husband bought this in a shop in Glastonbury. It was on my list, but he got it anyway. And he coloured it, edged it, whatever, but he then gave it to me. And I love it. I do love it. But I really think the cardstock is appallingly thin. Um, and given how much work Barbara Moore's probably put into this book, I think it's a bit of a shame, really, for her that they've, you know, put it on such thin paper. But, um, you know, it just, it's it really feels mass-produced, unlike, you know, the Bohemian Gothic, which is obviously not, and it's every bit the quality that it should be, and it's beautiful. And this was uh, the, the first Il Menegello deck that I got, and my husband got it for me. And I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful. It, it is. I don't use it, really. I want to use it, but I don't because it's really my collector's thing. Um, and obviously, then we've got the, the Victorian Romantics, which is my second Bubba Studios uh, deck. Um, the Cathar Tarot that um, I loved the Kate Moss series of books that she did on and was sort of based on Cathar. So when Simon mentioned it, I had to get it because I, I absolutely love the, the books. So, yeah, if you like anything medieval history, you'll probably like that. And in my gorgeous dragon, who is sleeping at the moment, don't wake him up, because I have a, 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 a dragon tattoo on my shoulder, quite a big one that I'm very proud of, called Genevieve. So, And in here is the Volga. So uh, again, that's a thank you, Kelly Bear, because she showed it and I fell in love with it. And hubby went on French Amazon and he, he did it. He got it. I'm amazed. And then we have the little Hanson Roberts tarot, which reminds me of the illustrations in the children's books when I was a little girl. Um, yes, I did have children's books. It wasn't on slate in those days, even if it does feel like I was I'm older than Methuselah's mother. Um, we have the Raven Prophecy, which again I've done some deck modification on, and the Eight Coins, which again I've done some work on, so I'll show in another video. And the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, which I love, beautiful illustrations. Um, this is a deck that I spent a quite a lot of time watching in Simon's videos, because it was behind him, the Prisma Visions Tarot. But when I got it and I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's far too grown up for me. I'm going to have to wait till I'm a bit more educated. So it sits there waiting for me to um, to become more knowledgeable. The mother piece, uh, Veronica Jude did it, um, and it's my only circle deck at the moment. I, there is another one I want to get, um, a song for the journey home, which you can get in Australia. So that's one for the for the list. Uh, the dragon tattoo, which my husband bought me, and I haven't got out really, but it's it's lovely. The wild unknown, the dreaming way. I love this tarot. In fact, I love it very much, and I wish that there was a book with it, a proper big book, because it's just beautiful. I love it, absolutely love it. Uh, um, if there is, I didn't know about it, so maybe somebody would let me know if that's true. But I'm not sure. I don't think there is. The Sacred Rose Tarot reminds me of the Moon Garden that Simon showed quite recently. I think the the artwork is very similar, not perhaps to everybody's eye, but to mine. Um, so I, I guess I would like to get that. But for for now, that's a, a beautiful one. And the Tarot Mooka, been to Prague, absolutely loved uh, Mooka. Have a couple of his 
his artwork prints downstairs and that deck does not disappoint it is a beautiful deck if you don't have it and I've just bought the housewife's tarot which isn't even unwrapped um, for my collection and this deck which I really love and I, every time I do this video because I've now had to redo this video a couple of times uh, done by four amazing young ladies um, very very good artwork sorry the lights probably going now um, that's in, yeah. um, the Astara is stunning um, the sides are gilded in silver if you can see there's plenty of reviews I'm sure you don't need me to waffle on but the artwork is done by all four each um, artist does a different uh, suit and uh, oh, I love this deck but I don't like the box I like the box I, yeah I, I, <laughs> I don't like I like the box but I don't like it to keep the cards in and I kind of think it's one of those ones where I wish it did come with a little pouch um, oops sorry ladies and gentlemen it's upside down Um, being very old, this is very challenging for me to try and hold a camera, think and talk at the same time. So, But look at that artwork, it's just beautiful. So this is a deck that will be getting a bag, so I will have to make a bag to go with that. Um, and I married it up with this dear little oracle deck, the Botanical Inspirations, and I like to marry all my crystals to to go with it so that's pretty much the tarot there are a few more but I am um, this is the art kind of stuff I like to do fabric collages and this is going to be a dragon and I did a a woodland one with toasters for one of my grandchildren and a unicorn one and and this of course you might have seen in my other this is what I did little fabric collage and it all started actually because my daughter got married last year and I didn't know what to buy her because she not long moved house it was just and I wanted to do something personal so I did a, a collage of their of a, a wedding in a church and um the bride and a tree and and, and it sort of went from there so then I did snowmen and halloween and woodland and I and I'm just exploring that hobby as well and I love it and um yeah it's a, it's a great uh, way for me to to have some downtime and that's one of my birthday presents from uh, tarot pg which uh, <clears throat> i'm not allowed yet so anyway guys thank you for watching and i hope to do a deck modification video to go with this so uh thanks again take care have a wonderful evening bye bye